Solving the terahertz gap is a big deal today. We are the Power Lab. Our research is mainly on um, semiconductor devices and we're looking, at, looking for applications in the high power and high frequency uh, domain. Uh, those are hard to achieve together. This is often called the terahertz gap. That's what we are, we're looking at. So terahertz are these extremely fast waves uh, that can be used in, a, in several different applications. So the first is in communications. Uh, the higher the frequency, the more data you can put, uh, you can transmit. So today we're talking about 5G uh, communications. Of course, if you go to terahertz, you can pack a lot more data in with the same signal. They can be used for sensing, for imaging. Um, we could imagine a situation where you have this tiny device combined directly on your cell phone. These fast waves can also change the permeability of cells. So that, that can help the intake of drugs. Some cells can uh, take more drugs than others. So now we can adapt the amount of drugs that some, some cells need compared to others by uh, applying these very fast signals. So today the main problem is that the fast device that there are available are made on three, five semiconductors. And those semiconductors tend to have a decreased power as the frequency increase. So to give you an idea, if you go to terahertz, you only have a few milliwatts of power. So it's not enough for any of these applications. So we demonstrated this nanoplasma device. By combining this nano device with antennas, we can now radiate hundreds of volts in only picoseconds. They are 10 times faster than any uh, semiconductor device that exists today. They can emit more than 20 times uh, more power than what this kind of devices can do today.